That they appointed for that money to flood on me. I don't care what y'all think. It's still the truth. That they appointed for that money to flood on me. It's already appointed. Amen. But then the money comes. What I do now is going to determine how we spend it. Because yes. 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 that money can fall on me and I can be at odds with her. I never enjoy it. Or it can fall on me and be at peace and we can enjoy Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Your relationship matter. It does not change what God's going to do. That's why you got to have faith in yourself and faith in people. Yes. 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 That's a yes. good one. Yes. And in people. And people. Shout out to my high school. Relationships matter. Shout out to my Don't think you're an island. There's some people that God designed to put in your life. I'm going to let me go back. Let me go back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't, don't think you, you, you can't do this by yourself. Because this is a perfect plan. And you're going to get where you're going if you keep believing. But how you are when you get there is up to you. Are you in strife? Are you in peace? Do you have joy? Do you have comfort? That's up to you. That's going to decide and determine how you deal with people on a daily basis. That's true. I don't feel like I'm preaching right. Am I preaching good? Preaching. Go ahead. So let me go back to this faith thing. Because now that I'm righteous and I'm eternal, I don't have a sin issue. My sin is to somebody, particularly those of us who come from the islands. They beat us up with the issue of sin. You don't have a sin issue. Either you believe them or believe God, your choice. God says, I'm not going to remember your sin. That's my agreement with you. Put that behind you. Focus on your faith life. When you have confidence in God to do what he says, and you're willing to be patient until he do it. You have to have the same faith with yourself and with others. I'm preaching too good here. Glory to God. I feel it. See, you got to have enough confidence in you that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But it's related to God's promise. But then you got to have patience with yourself. Because when you think you've arrived, God will trip you up. That's true. That's true. Oh, I'm preaching to myself here this morning. When you think you got it all together, he'll trip you up. And if you don't have patience with yourself, you don't have, you don't have, you don't have faith in yourself. You're patient with God, but how come you're not patient with you? That's true. My That's Lord, my Lord, Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Somebody should be shouting and somebody preach like this. Is it too cold for you? No. Let me say it again. Faith is global. It affects every, this thing blessed me, baby, when he gave it to me. It affects every relationship in my life. And I'm having faith before God, so I got to have faith in me, too. I got to know that what he told me I can do. Yes. Yes. So I got to I gotta be patient with myself. So when I get angry, and, and I haven't cussed in a little while, come on, say that. And I cuss somebody out, I'm getting better with that. <laughs> in at least three months, I ain't cussed nobody out. Someone say that. I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying for you I know some of y'all are struggling. <laughs> but when I do, oh, God, help me, Jesus. I can't come down on myself. Boy, I'm helping somebody here this morning. When I stop my talk, I can't get guilty. Because it means that I'm not being patient with me. I can't walk away because I didn't do it right this time. It means that I'm not being patient with me. And if I can't be patient with me, what chance it is I'm going to be patient with you? Let me teach this again, tell somebody again. I'm off the message now. I want you to hear this. You have to have faith in God. Yes. Have confidence that what he promised he's able to perform. It. That's what keep you in church. Yeah. But you also have to have faith and confidence. You have to believe in yourself. Because faith is believing. You got to believe that even at your darkest hour, you're still here. You gotta believe that God is working in you. And when he humbles you to build you up, you gotta have patience with yourself. Thank you, Holy Ghost. People commit suicide because they don't have patience with themselves. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's right. That's true. People leave relationships because they don't have patience with themselves or other people. That's true. Amen. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but we confess that we walk by faith. <laughs> and we dance to the Holy Ghost. I'm preaching really good here. But since you, 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 you said, Lord, I believe that this is my boy. You gave, yeah, you gave him to me. You gave him. I believe you. Know, and the, the song you get a little bit bored. Come on, Adam. Oh, oh, <laughs> 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 Show somebody to show up and look like a little bit better. <laughs> you struggling already. So, so, here, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I have to be. I'm going to help you here. 
If you want to live by faith, God, for me, you got to live by the total package of faith. Yes. Yes, Lord. Which means that I'm trusting in God's eternal plan for my life. Yes. Who come, come and they're supposed to come. Who go, go where they're supposed to go. If they leave, I let them go. Amen. They've been up from us because they were not of us. Because had they been of us, no doubt they would continue with us. Yeah, but they've been up from us. That it might be made manifest they were not all of us. When they leave you, the time is up. You gotta have confidence in them that they're doing exactly what God told them to do. Goodbye. It's too good for y'all. Shondo! It's too good. Shondo! So now, I have faith in God, I have faith in myself, and I have faith in others. Which means that I'm walking in a dead place. Wow. I'm not trying to manipulate nothing. That's right. I'm not trying to figure nothing out. Yeah. See, my wife still can't figure me out because I'm not gonna be the kind of concerned about her opinion. Because I, I know in whom I have believed you, I know that I'm on a journey. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna react to every stimulus. Amen. Right there, Amen. I don't think I'm preaching right because I'm not hearing Amen. this right. Is anybody here? I'm not gonna react to every stimulus. I'm not gonna react to every time the devil puts something in my way. If I'm on a journey, I, I have confidence in God. I have confidence in myself. I have to have confidence in the people, whether they blessing me or cursing me. I am confident that they're doing exactly what they've been appointed to do for my personal growth and to get me to my destiny. So I can't get mad with them or y'all ain't saying nothing. I can't try to kill them. I accept them for who they are. I give God praise because if they weren't doing what they were doing, I wouldn't be getting what I'm supposed to get. There you go. Amen. Yeah. Condo for the side. See, I'm already righteous and I got to live by faith. So uh, my life is based on God's promises. I believe I'm teaching good. You are. You are. So now, I stand on the foundation of faith in God, which means that I can never quit because mm -hmm. what underlines my confidence is my patience. Yes, it so is. So no matter what happens, since I believe God, I'll never quit. But now I got to have faith in me to know that I, whatever God be given me to do, I can do. And listen, I'm talking to somebody, man. I feel this all in my spirit. I'm talking to somebody here. You have to have patience with yourself. Because you, you go to bed and tell yourself, man, when he come home, I'm not going to cuss this time. <laughs> yeah, you can swear up and down, got the Bible, read Psalm 23, I got it, I got it. And then you do it again. You got to be patient with yourself, though. Don't become condemned. You, <laughs> you got to be patient with yourself. You got to know that I'm on a journey. The Holy Ghost is guiding me. The preacher, why am I here? Why was Jesus where he was? Exactly. The Holy Ghost led him to the cross, led him to the week of passion. He suffered by the Holy Ghost was guiding him. Jesus. So if the Holy Ghost tripped you up again, you gotta be patient with yourself. So. Good God. Yes. Hallelujah! I'm your Christian to me this morning. You can hear me say amen. amen. You have to be patient with you. And then you gotta be patient with other people. Well, that's, that's true. true. This man is getting real interesting right here. Somebody would hear me say amen. I, I gotta say, you know, as many times as she threw my clothes away, my wife was patient with me. You know, she stayed when it didn't look too good at times. Somebody say amen. She remained patient and, and God, she, she allowed God to get me to this place because the work is not finished yet. Amen. Hallelujah. So now, what I'm saying to you right now, and I'm talking to somebody here concerning your loved ones your family members, your spouses, your mates. If you know that's what who God gave you, you gotta live by faith. Come on, sir. My Lord, my Lord. Ah, God. Yes. If they depart, let them depart. Yes. But you don't. Come on, sir. Help us. <laughs> God, help me to preach this. Take your time. You, you, you gotta know that your position in all things, the only two things that God requires from you, have faith and love people. Amen. All the stuff that we come up with in church is not of God. Say it again. Wow. All he wants us to do is have patience and love people. Because patience is the foundation that all your faith stands on. So while you've been patient with yourself, please be patient with I'm talking to somebody. This message would not take this course. If I'm, if I'm not talking to somebody who in a situation right now where you're trying to decide what to do, and God sent you here this morning for you to hear his voice clearly saying, you have need of patience. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. yeah. after you have done the will of God, 
you inherit the, the process. See, but God is working on a masterpiece. You can't tell him how to do it. If he's making your child a masterpiece, you can't tell him how to do it. If he's making your husband, your mom, your spade, your, your mate a masterpiece, you can't tell him how to do it. You have to understand that it's God who's working in them, working with them, working. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? What you have to do is make sure that you are being patient. 